Cancer prevention, the role of lycopene. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, lycopene is that compound in tomatoes that makes the tomato red. But it's, it's one of many carotenoids, and lycopene, because it's red, you can also see it in other vegetables and fruits like watermelon, papaya, pink grapefruit, and other uh, fruits and vegetables. Um, unlike its sister compound, beta-carotene, lycopene cannot be converted into vitamin A. But lycopene has uh, some unique anti-cancer properties of its own that are quite remarkable. It's considered to be the most powerful antioxidant that can quench certain types of oxygen-free radicals called the singlet oxygen. You have to understand that about 5% of all of the oxygen that the body uses uh, gets converted into free radicals in the body. The same way that, you know, if you cut an apple in half and you expose it to the oxygen and air, it'll start to turn brown because of oxidative stress. Oxygen causes a corrosive effect to our cells as well. It's lycopene that has an incredible uh, ability to sort of quench those free radicals so they do less damage to us in the long run because that damage can lead to gene mutations that can then cause cancer. In addition to being a very powerful antioxidant, Lycopene has also been shown in experimental studies to inhibit the growth of existing cancer cells and to turn on what's called the P53 tumor suppressor gene. So if a, ca a cancer cell is starting to develop, the P53 tumor suppressor gene is the part in the, in the genetic code that identifies that problem. And then it sends out uh, different enzymes either to fix the mistake or to tell the cell to commit suicide before the cancer cell can fully emerge. So having an, uh, an operational P53 tumor suppressor gene is very important. Lycopene increases the uh, efficacy of the P53. It also has been shown to have very uh, pr uh, profound effects on immune cell function. And you're, you need your immune cells. In case cancer cells start to develop, your immune cells have to hunt those cancer cells down and uh, identify them and kill them. And, uh, and lycopene has been shown to enhance immune system function. If we look at human studies, uh, people having higher lycopene intakes seem to have a lower risk of a certain number of cancers. And in fact, and so recently they, they took patients that already had prostate cancer where their prostate cancer was, being, was very difficult to control, the PSA blood level was rising, they introduced lycopene supplementation and they were able to much better uh, control the progression of the disease and in some cases actually stabilize it completely. There are no drugs that have been shown to have a similar effect once you get to these situations where prostate cancer is not controlled. So lycopene, a very powerful effect on the prostate gland. It's, been, it's associated with a reduction risk of cervical dysplasia and cervical cancer. And there's a mere emerging research that, that lycopene blood levels and higher intakes are linked to a reduction risk of breast cancer as well. So my, in terms of cancer prevention, my recommendations are these. Try to eat some tomato products every day, but make sure when you're having a tomato product that it goes into your stomach with some fat. You see, lycopene is fat soluble. If you just drink some tomato juice on an empty stomach, even though there's lycopene there, it won't get absorbed. That's why a tomato sauce that has a little bit of uh, olive oil in it, or other ways where you have tomatoes in a salad with uh, you know, some vegetable oil and vinegar, you're going to absorb the lycopene there. And if the tomatoes are cooked, then you get more uh, uh, of the lycopene released, and the fat can help it get absorbed. I think taking a multiple vitamin that also has six milligrams of lycopene powder is a good idea. And for men after the age of 40, they should be taking a prostate support supplement that contains, in addition to other herbs, 25 milligrams of lycopene powder. So what you should do to really understand lycopene properly is click on the link below, read my article on lycopene and cancer. All the scientific references are there so you really see where all of this evidence is coming from. Now remember that at machinohealth.com you'll see my other uh, research review papers, you'll see footage from my live seminars, other downloads and videos that I've created. They're all there to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All my research papers and teaching materials are complete with scientific references, so you'll know you're getting sound, evidence-based information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So you should really make machinohealth.com an ongoing, an ongoing reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.